All right, welcome back to the second half of the second day of Gotham Sound and Communications coverage of NAB 2024. We are live on the floor with Sennheiser's Chris Phillips. Chris, thank you for being with us. Thank you for stopping by. It's exciting. And uh, this segment is brought to you by the After Lunch uh, Sugar Crash or whatever the heck it is. Uh, I would like a nap, <laughs> but I will generate yeah. myself. This is why you skip lunch. Exactly, because it's too much fun. Smart, so, very yeah. smart. Okay, uh, so as I mentioned, we are live, so if you are watching uh, this on YouTube uh, or Facebook and it happens to be April 15th, tax day at approximately uh, 2.35, uh, leave your questions or comments in the chat and, uh, and we will get them over to Chris. Uh, so Chris, what are we showing off today? Uh, so we're really excited uh, to be looking at the newest member of the MKH 8000 series line, the MKH 8030. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have we now have a figure eight uh, capsule in the 8000 line, which people have been asking us to make for years at this point. Uh, but it's very close to shipping. Uh, it's going to ship in at the end of May. Uh, so we have it here. Uh, the 8030 will ship with two piggyback clips. We have it set up in an MS configuration with a MKH 8040. Has the same really low uh, self noise of the MKH 8000 series. Uh, you know, wide and flat, accurate frequency response. Um, and it's uh, you know it finally rounds out the line, and we could do the MS configurations. So those are in pre-order right now, shipping end of May. End of May. So six, seven weeks, or six weeks. I can't count. Counting is hard. Really soon, really yeah, soon. real soon. Uh, okay, fantastic. And yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful looking microphone. I love being able to see inside. But like, you can see you the can capsules. see the capsule in there. Especially from over here. Like, there you go. Yeah, you can just see right in there. That's very satisfying. All right, cool. So that's the MKH8030. We do have information up on that on our website. If you're interested in getting on the pre-order list, uh, you know, email us at info at gothamsound.com. Anything else you want to say about the the 8000 series? I mean, I know it's been a it's been around for a while. I own an 8050. That's my my interview mic. Love it. It's yeah, what I use. I have a. Uh Myself, I have two 8040s and an 8060. I, I love them. Using this with a, an 8060 or a shotgun or the 8040, now we can do the mid-side component of it, which is going to be great. Yeah, so. perfect. You can do mid-side, DMS, all sorts of stuff. I see yep. you have, this is a Sonella Zephix, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and it, it has the MKH mount. We work with them. You would order this from Sonella, not from Sennheiser. Right. But we wanted to show it off since they're working with us to develop accessories for it. Yeah, Sonella is great. Philippe is an yeah. amazing, uh, very particular, very exacting uh, wind professional. Yeah. It's, it's, it's impressive. Uh, and the, the amount of care and love that he takes into putting these things and, and in, uh, answering customer questions is uh, amazing. Like, okay. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I, I talk to him a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right. So anything else you want to say about the MKH 8030? No, I think that's about it. Okay, perfect. Why don't we talk about the next thing you wanted to mention? Yeah, so let's move over here. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll follow you. We kind of sh have shown this uh, starting last year, but now it's shipping and it's an actual product, and we've done some updates to it. This is the EWDP SKP uh, plug-on transmitter. Uh, this transmitter uh, has phantom power. It's part of the EWDP line, so it, or EWD for that matter, so it works with the rack mount transmitter or receivers as well. Um, it has uh, the ability to either use uh, microphones that are XLR with uh, phantom power or dynamics, but it also has uh, EW connector. So a lav input on it. So it can double as a body pack, oh. uh, which is kind of helpful if you need a body pack in a mm -hmm. pinch. It also has the ability to record either 48K, 24-bit, or 32-bit float and transmit at the same time. Wow. It can act as a standalone recorder as well if you need to. Can you have it record and transmit with the EW connector? Do you know? or yeah. is it Okay, cool. And, and the way that it operates is as soon as you plug in the lav, uh, mm -hmm. It'll uh, defeat the XLR connector, and it'll it'll act as a body pack. If you plug in this, uh, it will um, uh, use the XLR. Neat. Okay. So that's shipping now. That's been shipping for a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been shipping for a couple months. We we were uh, 
starting to ship it at the end of last year. Okay. So. And how are how are what kind of feedback are you getting about the EWDP or the G5 as I like to call it or the, the G, G digital? Yeah, uh -huh. I like it. Yeah, um, really good. Uh, one thing that we didn't plan for, but mm -hmm. because of the frequency and phase response on it, people are using this for loudspeaker measurements, oh. uh, and and it's uh, that's working as a kind of an added bonus. Uh, so th we're finding good applications uh, for it, and EWDP is going really well. We've had some people bring in their camera rigs, their cages. Uh, one guy had two of them on his camera with a gimbal, and it's just kind of fun uh, to see customers show us how they're using it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's always nice to, like, it's interesting when you see it in the lab and you're developing it and you're picturing it, and then you see what people do with it, like... I mean, look at what Peter's got going on. Yeah, uh, for sure. It's, it's a lot going on. What, if anything, can you say is, is coming down the pipe to, for that EW line? Because I know there's, like, people have really wanted a bag receiver, like something that's really designed for that. Yep. Can, you, can you comment? Yeah. As, of, as of the near term, uh, we're not going to have a receiver with uh, uh, connectors that disconnect. But we're, um, we do have you know, rack mount receivers and the EWDP receiver. We're always looking to evolve the line. So this would be, uh, you call it G5, but it's really yeah. generation one of the EWD line. Yep. And uh, you saw how with uh, Evolution Wireless Analog, we continued to improve on it and make it better for over 20 years. We're going to yeah. do the same thing with this. We have the, the platform, and uh, now we wait for the, the customer responses. And yeah, we have heard that where we could Look at making a bag receiver. We need to think about that. It's not in the near term. Got it. Okay, yep. very good. Is there anything else that you want to say, things that you're excited about, like trends you see in, in audio? I know uh, the FCC and YMAS uh, just became a, uh, a, an agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, any kind of futurism look that you can uh, give us? Yeah, uh, so Sennheiser has been... Uh, doing research and development uh, for WMAS products. We, we began to uh, petition the FCC to uh, change the narrow band regulations, a 200 kilohertz carrier in 2018. Mm. And uh, we're really excited that on February 15th, uh, they have passed it where it's gonna be uh, legal to do a six megahertz wide, 100 milliwatt uh, WMAS channel. Uh, that means, uh, that sounds like a wide channel, but you can do a lot of audio links within that channel. Um, Sennheiser's deployment is going to be bi-directional, uh, and uh, it's going to sound uh, amazing. Uh, uh, so I would say uh, we're not quite ready to uh, openly talk about it. Uh, we're 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 just had the the uh, regulation passed where we're going to be able to make products, uh, but soon. So watch this. We'll we'll have some good information in the near future. Cool. That that is exciting. We think about like the not so distant future of audio and and what's possible and. Uh, yep. Yeah, the idea of just having a system that takes care of itself. Yeah. And, you know, you can go back and forth and everything's a transceiver. It, it seems like a, a very promising uh, future. Um, so just in terms of questions from our live stream, uh, people are, you know, the, asked the same question I did about updates to the EWDP series, including a bag option. So... Yeah. So, yeah. I, so the EWDP receiver can kind of be adapted to a bag. I think the, the main question we get is if there's going to be removable antennas. Right now, they're integrated antennas for yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I think the, the issue is that to have the antennas facing up, you have to have the screen facing down. And I know that mm -hmm. you can, like there is app control on it, but it's not, you know, people yeah. like to push buttons. Yeah. I am a big button pusher. Ask Peter. Well, anything else? Oh, what's your favorite color? We've been asking a lot of people what their favorite uh, color is. We're my getting. favorite color is, uh, I mean, it changes. Uh, okay. But right now, I'm, I'm really liking the, the purple pink suit, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> perfect. Hey, well. you know, if you're not going to tow the company line, you can uh, compliment the person you're with. Yeah. I like your jacket, too. It's a nice color blue. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. All right. Great. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. I really you. appreciate it. Thank yeah. you all for watching. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, stay tuned for more from Gotham Sound's coverage of NAB 2024 coming to you live soon. And if you want to talk to Gotham Sound, you can call us and buy stuff from us or rent stuff from us or whatever. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks.